Hello and welcome to today's myminimaths.co.uk video tutorial. And today we're going to be looking at the Arithmetic 16 practice question 33, where we're going to be looking at adding together a mixed number and a fraction. And first of all to question 33a, where it's one and three quarters, and we're going to add that to a half. Now, the first thing we're going to, going to do is just leave the one to one side for now, and we're just going to concentrate on the fraction part. So, if I take three quarters and I add that to a half, we're going to find a common denominator which both these fractions will go into. So, first of all, the two will fit into four. So, our new common denominator is going to be four. I haven't changed the four, so I don't need to change the three, so it's like we're multiplying by one. And I've multiplied the two by two to get to four, and I need to do the same with the top. So I have a new numerator of two. When I add these two together, I finish with five over four. Now, five over four is an improper fraction or a top heavy fraction, and it's the same as saying one and one quarter. Now, when I add that together with the original one up here, I finish with two and a quarter for the final answer. And next is question 33b, where we're going to be subtracting this time. And we have one and three fifths. Subtract two tenths. Now, the first thing we're going to do is change this mixed number into an improper fraction, a top heavy fraction. So the one is the same as saying five fifths, five out of five, that's one whole pizza. And we're gonna add that to the three fifths. So we have a total of eight fifths. And we're going to subtract the two tenths. Now, the next thing we need to look at is getting these two denominators to be the same. So as we can see, the five fits into 10 very nicely, and we've times that by two to give us 10. Then we need to do the same with the numerator, which is 16, and we're going to subtract the two tenths, as that just stays the same, we've multiplied by one, and then 16 tenths minus two tenths gives us a grand total of 14 tenths, or one and four tenths. Next is question 33c, which is one and four sixths. And we're adding two thirds to that. So again, then we'll put this one to one side for now, this whole number. And we're going to just focus on adding the two fractions. So again, we need to find a common denominator for these two here. Now three fits very nicely into six. So we'll keep six as our new common denominator. I'm going to add them together. Now, because these have stayed the same, this time we're multiplying 3 by 2 to get 6, so we need to do the same with the numerator. 2 times 2 is 4. We add these together to give us 8 over 6. Now, 8 over 6, or 8 divided by 6, it's the same thing, is 1 with 2 sixths left over. Now, when we add our original one to it as well, we have a final answer of two and two sixths, or two and one third. And for the final question of today's tutorial, question 33D, we're going to be finding the sum of one and twelve fifteenths and three fifths. Now, as we've already looked at different ways of doing this, another way is to convert this into an improper fraction. So one whole is the same as saying 15 out of 15. And we're going to add that to 12 out of 15, which gives us 27 out of 15. And then we're going to add the three fifths. Now we know we need to change these fifths into 15, which fit very nicely. And we've multiplied that by three. So we do the same with the top up here, which gives us nine. And then we can add the two numerators together to give us 36 over 15, which is the same as saying 36 divided by 15, which is two wholes. 
and then the six fifteenths left over. Thank you very much for listening today and I look forward to speaking again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.